Welcome to the Tunes, Toys, and Collectibles YouTube channel. My name is Jay, and today I have some Mega Man Bandai minifigure boxes things. I don't know exactly what these are called because the, uh, mostly everything on this packaging is in Japanese, but uh, you could read the title to figure out what these are exactly. Uh, but right now, I don't really know the exact name. I just picked them up because I wanted to review them for you guys. So we got these Mega Man uh, figure boxing boxes. As you can see, uh, these are all the ones you could get. You got Mega Man, Mega Man X, Mega Man Battle Network, and Rockvanaut. I believe that's how you say that. And how they look on the back. On the side, bottom, and then on the top, it tells you what figure you have. So right here, I have Mega Man Battle Network 3. So you look on the back, 3, Mega Man Battle Network. So this is the one I have. This, uh, we'll see which one this one is after we up open this one so let's go ahead and open this one open it up so you get this bag full of the pieces to your Mega Man as you can see and then in the box inside are instructions if you guys need the instructions they're inside I don't think I need them um, but yeah we'll go ahead and put this box over to the side and we'll go ahead and get these opened up all right so that took a while to get out but we have the body, the head, the sword. We have the little hands on this pegs. And then this little stand, I'm guessing. This is a stand. Alright guys, so here is the figure all put together. Really, really nice figure. Really, really nice. I didn't put the, the sword or the, or the other hand on yet, but I have them right here. And then we have a little stand as well that pops onto the back of his ankle, which is really, really nice. But we'll go ahead and get into all the accessories and all that after we open up this one so we can talk about them both and see which one is very articulated than the other one. Or do they have all the same articulation? But here is the other one that I have right here. No, up at the top, I got number four, Rock I believe that's how you say it, uh, which is this one. This one. So let's go ahead and... Take him out. Now, I did pre-open these just to make it easier for me. Um, and then you got the instructions and stuff on the inside. But we don't need that box right now. So let's go ahead and start opening this one up. All right, guys. So the Rock Vanat Mega Man comes with the body, the head, the hands, and this little robot toy clear guy right here. So let's go ahead and get this guy put together. All right, guys. So here is this Mega Man all put together. It looks really, really nice. Definitely like him. So now the articulation in these figures are very, very similar. Uh, they both have full head rotation. Their arms can move up and down. They have elbow joints. Well, actually, this one does not have an elbow joint. Well, it kind of does, as you can see. Yeah, it does have an elbow joint. It's kind of weird, though. And then elbow joints on this arm as well. As a swivel. Well, this one has more like a rocking swivel as when this one has more of a full-on uh, rotation. So this one kind of swiggles a little bit. Uh, arms go, or the legs go forward and then backwards just a little bit. Knees bend, feet can somewhat poseable on this figure, but on this figure, uh, there's just very little movement in this ankle. So yeah, so overall, the, artic the articulation is the same with these two figures, except for the waist. Like I said, this one rocks back and forth when this one is a full-on swivel. Now let's go ahead and get into the accessories, and his arm fell off. Alright, so the problem I have with this guy and his accessories is that this blaster is supposed to be able to come off, and you're supposed to put this sword on, but sadly it does not come off. When I pull it off, just this piece comes off, and I cannot take this blaster off to save my life it is just stuck on there i cannot take it off and this piece will pop on here but it just falls off as you can see it will fall off it's not meant to be like this so that sucks that i can't put the sword on because of this it's just hard to take off i hope that i can get it off though and hopefully i can put the sword on because the sword looks better than the blaster in my opinion but that's the only problem i have with this one um it does come with the stand as you can see but uh, there's no point in it because it could just stand up by itself. But it does stand up better with the stand on. You could just stand them up without the stand if you like to. Um, now with this guy, uh, I didn't have any problems with him. Unlike this one, 
uh, with the sword. I didn't have any problems with this because he doesn't have a another like a sword piece like uh, the Battle Network Mega Man does. Um, but he did come with this hand, and if you are wondering, these hands are very different. As you can see, uh, this one is more square, as this is more rounded. This one has like a robotic look. This one kind of has like a glove look. So yeah, so the hands are different. They are molded different, so they are not the exact same um, piece or the exact same hand. You, I'm pretty sure you could pop that one on that one if you would like to, but uh, I personally am not. So it's nice to have it uh, molded different. So number four did come with this little clear robot uh, dude, this little minifigure. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not posable at all. It just stands there. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. Can't go wrong. I'm glad it came with this little guy. It's pretty funny. Alright, guys. So, these are the two Mega Mans that we got. Uh, by far, for look-wise, this is probably my favorite. But, for, you know, because this sword it won't... Or because this blaster won't come off, I would have to say this one is my favorite. Because at least it functions and everything comes off and everything plugs where it's supposed to. As with this hand or this blaster, it does not. So, look-wise, I like this one, but this one is pr the better one because this blaster won't come off. But other than that, these are really cool minifigures. They are about less than 3 inches tall, and they're really, really posable for minifigures. They're really, really posable. You know, they're small, but they're very, very posable. Um, I wouldn't recommend these for any younger kids because it does come with, you know, small parts that they could easily swallow. Um, but... Yeah, so these are like little collectibles, but if you want them to fight, you can, but the pieces will come off, so I don't see why you would use these or play with these guys. These are more just to stand on display. Um, but yeah, so these are really, really cool. If you guys are into Mega Man or into little minifigures, I uh, definitely suggest these. These figures are really, really nice. Um, uh, these are not mine, actually. These are my brother's. Uh, I got these for him. But uh, he didn't open them, so I was like, hey, do you mind if I open these and make a video on them? He was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. So, yeah, so I opened them for him. I'm pretty sure he's just going to put them on, on a shelf or on his uh, dresser or something. But, yeah, so these are pretty, pretty nice. Besides the sword not being able to plug on, uh, that's the only issue I have with these figures. Other than that, these are really, really nice figures. If you, if you are into Mega Man, definitely suggest these figures. If you aren't into Mega Man... Then I say it's an easy pass. Um, but, you know, if you're not into Mega Man, I don't see why you'd be watching this video. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, these, I got these at Toys R Us for $10 a piece, around $10. They're about $8.99 or about $9.99. So you're looking at, you're looking at about $10 a piece uh, if you're in the United States, about $10 a piece for these guys. As far as I know, you can find these at, at Hot Topic and Toys R Us if you are in the States. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on these two figures. Let me know if you have them. Let me know if you plan on picking them up. Let me know all of your thoughts on these figures down in the comments below. Also, let me know what else you guys would like me to open up and review. It could be action figures, toys, collectibles, trading cards, blind bags, anything in that nature. Let me know and I'll definitely try and do that for you guys. Put out a review of that said, that said thing that you guys want me to review. I'll try to have it up if I can get my hands on it. Um, but yeah, so that's it guys for this video. Let me know again all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.